and to suspect the compression of toes of dorsum of the hand. This is performed through the proximal and distal portal. The first step is dissecting the dorsal surface of the tophus, which is the working area. The next step is dissecting the extensor tendon from the proximal part of the gouty tophus by means of an scissors via the proximal portals. The distal portal is the viewing portal in these steps. The next step is dissecting the tendon from the distal part of the gouty tophus. The upper scope is switched to the proximal portal. The distal part of the gouty tophus is dissected from the tendon by means of an ritual blade life via the distal portal. The next step is resection of the proximal part of the gouty tophus. The distal portal is the reading portal. The proximal part of the gouty tophus is reset by means of an alphosopic shaver and alphosopic punch forceps. The extensor tendon is an important landmark and the resection of the tophus should be away from the tendon. After completion of resection of the proximal part of the gouty tophus, the upper soap is switched to the proximal portal, and the distal part of the gouty tophus is resected by means of an arthrosopic shaver and arthrosopic punch via the distal portal. After this, the tophus material adhered to the surface of the tendon is removed by means of an arthrosopic curette and an arthrosopic punch. After that, the tendon is examined for any residual tophus material.